Now, before we explain how a shield system works, I would like to highlight that any HVAC system within the industry always operates under the principle of the refrigeration cycle. Like we have mentioned in our previous course, refrigeration cycle simply operates based on four components, the evap evaporator, the condenser, the expansion valve, and the compressor. Now, after saying that, keep that in mind as you proceed with your design for any piece of HVAC equipment, it always operates under the same principle. Uh, take a look at the diagram on the right-hand side. You'll notice that we have this pink box, which is called the cooling loads. Now, this could be anything. This could be your building, could be a house, could be apartments, irrespectively. And on the right-hand side, we have chilled water supply, the CHWS. And on the left-hand side, we have the CHWR. What are those? Um, let's say you have a building and you need to remove heat from the building after you conducted your cooling load calculations. And you decided to pick out a chilled water system. You need to get cold water into the building to remove the heat from the building and leave the building as hot water and go all the way back to a piece of equipment called the chiller which is going to throw the heat back into the environment and the process is continuously going in a closed circuit you have cold water going into your conditioned space picking up the heat then leaving your conditioned space going all the way back to an equipment called chiller which we're going to break down for you throughout this course and the heat will be thrown into the environment through this chiller now, if you're wondering what are AHUs, what are FCUs, do not worry. I will cover them for you in this course, which these are basically equipments that are in charge of circulating and passing or dispatching air into your conditioned space. Let's say I have a room and I have an FCU above my false ceiling. The cold water will be passing from my chiller all the way to that FCU, which has a fan that will blow the air into my conditioned space over that cold water. Then the cold water going through that network will get hot as it's taking out the heat from my space and it will circulate all the way back to my chiller which will throw that heat into the environment through the condenser as you can see in the picture.